Did Catherine Pareto make a horrible decision in dumping Alice Jones the night before Nationals, not even calling her, having her manager call her, and playing with Anna Lee Waters? Let me decide right now. What's wrong with being a player after all? Top 10 reasons why Catherine Parento was right in dumping Alice Jones. Number 10. Hey, it was Anna Lee Waters. 9. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Alice Jones. I don't believe Anna Lee Waters asked you. That's about as far as I got with this top 10. I couldn't think of any more defense for Catherine Parento. This is wrong on so many levels. Imagine if you were Alice Jones flying to National, spending all that money, then finding out the day of the tournament that your partner dropped you for the number one player in the world. I joke a lot, but if I was Alice Jones, the day of the tournament, I would literally be bawling in a corner crying. I mean, Catherine Parento wants to win at all costs, right? But then you should at least call Alice Jones the night before the tournament to give her time to get a partner. Wait, she's not gonna get a partner that soon. Basically, Catherine knew she completely screwed Alice and that's why she never called her. She had her manager car. This is classless. The USAP should have never allowed this. To Catherine's defense, everything she did was legal. Anna Lee Waters' mom got injured in the event beforehand, so Anna can change partners. However, this is morally wrong on so many different levels. If it was me playing God, I'd have Catherine repay every single one of Alice Jones' fees to get to the tournament, apologize, and I'd ask for a pot pie or favorite food. <laughs>